Open carry holsters, active versus passive retention. When choosing an open carry holster, you need to consider one main thing. When you open carry, you are giving up the element of surprise. Basically, everyone around you will know that you are carrying a firearm. Same goes for the bad guys that might want to do a gun grab. Therefore, you need to be aware of your surroundings and know how to react should someone try to grab your firearm. We at Phobos offer a large variety of holsters, but today I want to focus on our open carry options. One, passive retention, and the other one, active retention. Let's start with the passive retention holster. So why should you choose a passive retention holster over a higher level of retention, meaning less safety mechanisms? The main reason is during a high stress situation, you are bound to make mistakes while adrenaline is pumping through your veins. Should you find yourself in a threatening situation, every second counts and you might not be able to unholster fast enough. So if you choose a passive retention holster, it might give you that extra second you need. If you decide to go with the active retention option for your holster, it will give you a bigger chance to defend yourself in case of a gun grab. This does not mean that it's 100% safe, as the bad guy with some knowledge will be able to defeat the safety mechanism. But it can give you that extra time to distance yourself from the threat and unholster towards the target. With the Phobos trigger retention, the index finger is a lot further up and is nowhere near the trigger guard. This will limit the chance of negligent discharge. No matter what you choose to do, we recommend training as much as possible at the range with the everyday carry holster and handgun. At Phobos, we offer hundreds of holsters for different carry options, such as open carry OWB, inside the waistband, IWB, appendix, and more. For more information, click on the link below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next movie.